what's going on guys it's lecton gaming here come back at you with another banger video on the channel and today i'm gonna be playing some more bad business and i'm gonna be talking about this new update so first of all we got the new auge 2 which was i guess kind of obvious because it says it in the title of the game now i think i'm gonna really quickly just buy a reflex site though there we go okay this gun should be uh, i don't know a bit easier to use because i have a few kills with it and it does have some kind of hard to control recoil but um let's get talking about the other parts of the update so first of all we got a new revamped deagle here so i'm gonna get so i'm gonna be using that normally i probably would be using the magnum that i almost have 3,000 kills with <laughs> oh geez i use the magnum way too much all right so let's talk about the other parts of this update so i think something that's gonna be kind of big and kind of like a big game changer is there is now they, they've now buffed the shotguns except the except the sega um which i'm i'm, I'm very happy they didn't buff the sega because if they had done that it's now a lot easier for shotguns to just one shot people so the damage now for the spaz is um 20 damage per pellet and then 40 i think it is like for a headshot or like 30 or something so <clears throat> and it shoots 10 pellets which means it can do like 200 damage oh geez okay yeah i got totally wrecked so it, it can do 200 damage if you hit all of the pellets and that's just body shot so if you were like to, I don't know, if you were like to hit a headshot, it would probably do like around 300, 350 damage. So, yeah, shotguns have now gotten a lot better, and you're going to be seeing a lot more shotguns on closer range maps. Probably not maps like this, like Canal. Um, I think it's called Canal or Canals. I don't know. Um, here. But yeah, then of course I got the Auge 2 here, which is a submachine gun that you unlock at Prestige 1, level 39. Uh, which, I mean, I think it's actually pretty good. I think it might be one of my, one, like probably my favorite smg if you ask me because it's just so fun to use because it's just something new to the game it's not like another ak or something like that like pf is well, i mean they've gotten better at not just adding in another ak variant but that's what they used to do and it just got kind of annoying so i mean at least they're not doing something like that okay we're just totally destroying right here right now see if we can get a okay nope i'm i'm still terrible with the deagle all right there you go hey guys we can chill right oh jeez, i'm getting pushed from every angle right now so i'm doing a lot better than i honestly expected to do i was expecting like maybe not to do that good because it's got us a bit more of a recoil and I'm on a bit more of a longer range map, but it seems to be holding up good if we can just continue spawn trapping them. Hello, sir. All right, that guy was not expecting anything right there. So some of the other parts of the update is uh, they nerfed the Magnum a bit, at least for if you're scoping in with it, they nerfed the recenter time. So the time that it takes for the, I'm pretty sure that means like the time for it takes for the scope to realize that you're centered and you're aiming like right in the middle it's gonna be first shot accuracy so like and they did it with the deal so instead of it just being like you know you could like do that and like hit the exact same spot every time you can see it's a bit more spread out now so therefore it, it'll take it'll probably take longer for you to center which is, is i'm pretty sure that's what it means and they did it for all the snipers too but i'm not really sure it's that noticeable i just think it's to avoid stuff like like this happening like where you just scope in really quick and you can still get insane accuracy oh wait i actually hit that nice holy no please don't see me please okay we are just destroying them right now they don't even stand a chance all right teammate you can okay nope never mind my team is garbo my team doesn't even know what the heck they're doing no grenades left. Dang it. That would have been a perfect nade in this spot right though. Yo. There's also a new update for some of you mobile players out there. If you play mobile, I don't know. I don't really know anyone who does, but I'm sure a few of you might play mobile. And basically, now you in, in, on mobile, you can lean uh, and you can... And you can use knives now i think that's it no yeah and then you can also throw grenades something for all you mobile players out there all right so now we're just going to focus on trying to do as good as we can on the rest of the match because that was basically the whole update you guys i think there's maybe like one or two more tweaks that they did but those are basically like the main ones like the main game changers i think the other ones are just sort of i don't know they're kind of unimportant in my opinion 
But yeah, I think I said mostly everything. We're probably gonna make a video on the shotguns soon since since yesterday I was just I was just playing on Cario. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce that map name. I was playing on Cario and there wasn't one person using using anything else other than a shotgun. I only saw shotguns. Literally. There was nothing else. Just shotguns. Just imagine that for a second. And it was King of the Hill too, so it was just all out chaos. I don't even know I don't even know what to say. I mean even I had to join into the fun there. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be making a video about the shotguns soon. But for now, let's just focus on spawn trapping the enemy team. Oh jeez, I feel so bad for doing this. Okay, I'm loving this gun. Honestly, with the scope, it is so much more fun to use. So if you guys have like 500 credits to spare and just buy the scope instantly, do it. Just really just do it because it is so much more fun now. Oh, no, I hit him, but he died too early. No, 56 kills. Holy moly, man. And, we're ha and we have an 8 KDR. Alright. This is crazy right now. Okay. I wasn't even expecting to do this good considering this was like a long range map. The, the match was to end here so I have to wrap up the video. And I just wanted to say a few quick remarks about the AUG A2. It is a very fun gun to use. And I don't think... Like if you're going for an insane amount of kills. I think you could probably pull something off with this. But it's, no it's like nothing compared to probably... A gun like the Scar H, I think with the Scar H you could probably do just like a lot more damage and just generally have a lot more, just have a lot, get a lot more kills with it. But this gun is still insanely fun to use. And as you can see, we got a 7.63 KDR and 61 kills and 8 deaths. That was crazy. Alright guys, so I don't think it, I don't think it's worth buying. Again, I don't think any of the guns in this game are really just worth buying. They're all definitely worth the grind in this game. So yeah, just, uh, you guys should all just grind. Wait, okay, so I just realized something. Um, this gun might actually be one of the only guns worth buying. 34 damage, which makes it a 5 shots to the body, if you just hit all your shots to the body. And 50 damage if you hit headshots, which means it's a 3 shot headshot. If we go to the Scar H here, you can see it has a 600 fire rate, it's a 5 shot body shot and a 3 shot headshot. But I mean, okay, it does have a lot less recoil. As you can see, mm, okay. But anyway, guys. So, guys, it's basically a pretty good gun, and I would highly recommend it if you if you're I would highly recommend it if you're above Prestige One rank 50. If, if you're above Prestige One rank 39. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.